Every incident in southwest Missouri involving an airsoft gun. The McDonald County Sheriff's Office reports a young man started pointing one at people, triggering a very real response. Reagan DeTrolio shows us the way these pranks can turn dangerous. We received a call from a parent who was pretty upset because her son had welts on him. Welts caused by fake guns like these. It's something that the Willard Police Department is cracking down on. He was trying to uh, cross the street going home and somebody drove by and shot one of the gel guns at him. Owners at Sogo Airsoft in Ozark say this issue is real. If you point an airsoft gun at somebody, you're taking your life into your hands. The main way to pick out an airsoft gun from a real gun is by the orange or red tip. Keep the orange tip on them for one thing because nobody knows the difference whenever it's a quick trying to, to figure if it's going to be a real one or not, as well as keeping the finger off the trigger. And if you're a parent of a kid with one of these airsoft guns. It's good that they're buying their children some airsoft guns, but there is some responsibility that does go along with that and not just shooting at your friend. Major Shannon Shipley with Willard PD says gun owners also need to be vigilant about pranks on your property. Understand what you're shooting at and why you believe that that person was a threat to you. The safety advice could save a life. It seems like it could be, you know, funny or a joke, but for the other person that is getting fired upon, they may not know that it's not real. These things, even though they're like toys, they're not toys. They can hurt somebody.